so you've had a coach in sports, right? You're a sports coach, right? Um, mm-hmm. But but what a light, what coaching is about? Coaching is about helping you close the gap from A to B, right? Like in your business and in your life, you you are at certain places and you want to change them, right? I'm trying to grow sales or make this, right? So you're always working from where you are to another point, okay? Um, if we use Tony Robbins' language, which is how I'm trained, is that, you know, 80% of success is mindset and 20% of success is strategy. So the key to getting from A to B faster and, and getting to a higher level result, either with more positive emotion or more financial results or a better quality result, the key of performing at a higher level is operating from a higher, moving into a higher level mindset, and therefore you can generate a higher level mindset strategy, right? Because, for example, you know, Wade, with your business sales, you are version, let's just say five, right? And let's say your version five mindset is generating a ver- version five strategy, and that's generating the results you have right now in the sales in your business at that level. <clears throat> if you wanted to double or triple your sales, for example, instead of going to version five mindset, you may have to go to version seven or eight or nine or ten, and a version ten mindset will generate a version ten strategy, right? But you can't run a version ten strategy on a version five mindset. Does that make sense? It does. It does. It's so it so, it, does. so it's so it's almost like this catch twenty two because as human beings, we are to do list machines, right? Our brain wants something. We go, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? So we spend the majority of our time focused on how to do it, right? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? It's human nature, right? Because because we know at the end of the day, it's a strategy that will get us the result. But what we don't see is that we end up spending most of our time in a mindset or what it really means. We spend up most of our time in an identity that doesn't know how to achieve that result. Right, because you've had a time in your business. If you've been in business for eight years, there were times when you had no idea how the hell you were going to solve this problem, and then maybe one day you woke up and it was like God spoke to you and you knew how. Right, you've had that experience before in life or business. Right, what actually happened before you had that breakthrough is you had a shift in mindset, and you could therefore see a new perspective you couldn't see before. Hmm. So. This actually isn't a coaching part. This is just an explanation to kind of prepare for coaching. But so so mindset, what your mindset is, is your mindset is your experience, your past, your past references, your beliefs about life, about you, about business, and really your expectations of how things should be. That makes up, Tony Robbins calls that your blueprint or your mindset. And it's basically the filter that Wade walks around the planet viewing the world at, right? Mm-hmm. We all have our own personal filter. And, for example, let's say you ran a business and you made $10 a year, and there was a business opportunity to make $50. You wouldn't even see it because you're only looking for $10 opportunities, right? Mm-hmm. Whereas if you had a $500 a year mindset, you would see 10 50 20 30 opportunities. So it really dictates your subconscious mind and what you can actually see and what actions you'll take. So what coaching in its essence is, it's help bringing out the best of who you are in all of your areas, emotionally, physically, financially, business results, relationships, whatever you want it to be, it it evolves you to a higher level. So therefore, you can generate higher level strategies. Makes sense? Makes sense. Now, I'm sure you probably have mentors of some sort. Right, maybe business, maybe otherwise. Right, and 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 successful people, like the top percent of successful people, have mentors and coaches. Okay, because a mentor is an expert in a strategy, because they have typically achieved mm-hmm. a result that you want to achieve. Right, so you talk to a mentor. Oh, how did you get that big result? Oh, here's how I did it. They tell you. Right, mm-hmm. and what's actually happening? They're they've got their version fifty mindset kicking out a version fifty strategy, and you're at version five. You can't run a version 50 strategy, so it doesn't work, right? So it's almost like mentors helps you see what is really possible, and you talk to them once a month, once a quarter, and coaches help you consistently execute 
to to run higher level strategies of evolve who you are. And you talk to a coach anywhere from one, two, three, or four times a month. So it's really bringing out the best, making sure you don't get comfortable, and constantly holding you to a higher standard. That's what coaching really does, at least life coaching and business coaching in my style. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, given my experience in business, I do mix into mentoring and I do mix into almost strategy and training because I've run a lot of businesses and I've been in business a long time. Okay, so so the so what we'll do now is let's actually start the coaching, right? So so the coaching is really a, the way we do a coaching call is we we like the goal of a coaching call is like to to close the gap from A to B on something, right? Maybe it's like I want to grow my revenue. Or on this call, Jason, I want to figure out what strategies to grow my income or leverage other people in my business or have more free time, like it's so that we have a specific target, 